I think that people just assume that we're the small one stoplight town where we don't really have a lot going on. Like we don't have a whole lot of restaurants, we don't have a fancy grocery store. So I think when people drive through they don't really understand the heart of the community. I think the advantage you have in a place like Dinero is it's smaller, you're more connected. There's not as much to get in your way and obscure your view of what it means to be a neighbor, a community member. You can be a farmer, a rancher, or you can live right here in town, but there's only 5,000 of us. By the sheer numbers, you're, you're connected. I grew up here, I love it. It's a small community, everybody knows each other. And what I really like is everybody wants to see you succeed. Whether it is going to school, opening up a business, they're all there to support you. Everybody here, since they know each other, we, they all have connections and they will help you progress in whatever career or whatever path, passage you want to take. I am the second in my family to go to college. You can do anything you want here at Denner High School that you can do at a big school. Just if you put your mind to it and you really want to get something done, then you can do it here. Since his freshman year, I've had Alex. As a student, he's, he's so hardworking and so focused that, it, you know, it's just really been a pleasure watching him the past four years. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, small schools, you can't go anywhere. But if you look at somebody like Alex and all the work that he put into what he wanted to accomplish and what he wanted to do, it's, it's possible. He's going to UC Davis, and, uh, but he called me and said he got accepted to Cal Poly. And I said, wait, you got accepted to Cal Poly? Yeah, but I, is that good? I said, is that good? I said, that's almost an impossible school to get into. And you, you, you really got, so he had to show me the letter. He, he's been just a real pleasure to have in class. Quality of your relationships with students will determine the quality of your outcome, and you better get that right from the beginning. Kids that do go here, they just don't do that one thing. Like it's not just softball or football, it's like football, baseball, yearbook, AP classes. It's like they do everything. And that's what's really cool is that the teachers really help us be able to do things like that because you can't expect kids to keep going at full speed without some help or some guidance. I've seen a lot of students that have transferred from different schools and maybe it was because that they weren't doing so well and they come to this school and that one-on-one -on -one relationship really helps them to succeed in the classroom. Connor, can you get up? 
Connor. Get up. I've been raised on the dairy. Even though I live in town, I go out there every day. When I got my first heifer, she was a Red Angus heifer, and I was 10 years old. Then I took her to the fair, and I showed her, and I did pretty good with her. He's a hardworking kid in the classroom, outside of the classroom. It does take a lot of commitment to raise a 1,200-pound animal. That animal relies on you every single day and it's not something that you can push that responsibility off to the side. So just someone who raises livestock and especially cattle um, tells you a lot about their personality and their commitment and their drive and determination because the raising livestock, especially beef cattle, take a lot of work. I feel like everyone in this like school and then pretty much in like the community where we all have like the same let's wake up and let's accomplish something every day. He has that work ethic and he has that drive and that's more important than anything else, whether it's talent or you know, talent will come over time, but I mean you gotta keep working at it and that's something that Connor possesses. very vividly remember my first day and I was just very impressed with the community and the school. We were breaking for lunch and as students were leaving my classroom they just set their backpacks outside my door and I just said what what are you doing you know you guys are leaving your backpacks here and they're like yeah we know and I go they're fine right there they go yeah they're fine. So there's just kind of a, a respect for uh, each other and property and what have you. Don't go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Be 
careful. Are you with him? Huh? Are you with him? No, but I'm watching him. It's harder when you go through more stuff, but it's better for you. The more things you go through, the more your outlook on life changes. You know, I may not have my mom and dad, but I have my aunt and uncle, and they're essentially my mom and dad. Just meeting the people in my life that have really shaped me and just made my life for the better, it's just easier for me to like appreciate what I have. One year she did go to a bigger school, and since she's grew up in such a small community, I think that the bigger school wasn't the right choice for her. I think that Daenerys, like really has helped her. Adriana, I've had uh, great experiences with her. She's well liked on campus because she's loud, she's energetic, she's all over the place, she's involved in everything. And so students all know who she is. Adriana is that, that student that has overcome a lot of odds in her life. You are automatically connected with her because she's so happy. I think with Daener, you notice that, you know, everybody has kindness in their heart. You can find that group of kids that you fit in with. And I think the diversity and how we come from different backgrounds only makes us stronger because then there's new point of views. People say, oh, kids are different today. They're not, you know. Um, I think, you know, kids are basically the same. They want to do well. The one word that comes to mind is family. Just about anybody here, that would probably be the word that comes up the most is family. You don't see the cliques based on race. Uh, you don't see the cliques based on uh, economic status. Everybody just kind of, it's more of a personality thing. So you might see this group over here, they kind of have similar personalities. But again, I think that goes back to the, to the family. Education is not this antiseptic, sterile, intellectual exercise. It's about grooming young men and women to be who they can be and, and take charge of the future and drive it forward. When you're on a campus like this high school, you, you can feel the engagement, you can feel the warmth, you can feel the love, you can feel the relationships. And that's the fuel, that's the driver for truly great schools. And when you have that piece in place, explosively great things happen. We are a public school at a private school cost. So what I mean by that is obviously it doesn't cost to come to this public school, but we have such one-on-one -on -one differentiated instruction and relationships with students that we are able to understand and fully analyze the student to see how they learn the best to allow them to be successful. Right now our biggest challenge is, uh, is keeping kids here. You know, when they say, well, we can't get what we need here, and I'd go back to Alex and say, Here's a kid that got into UC Davis and Cal Poly just by taking the classes he has here and the hard work he put in. The power of your relationships will drive the power of your outcomes. And that's always a starting point. And there's something organic about that. There's something natural about that. People connect with it, it resonates, and it spreads across communities. You get to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one relationships with the students here at Denaire. And it's not like a lot of the other schools where you have 40 plus kids jammed into a classroom. As a teacher, it's really hard to get those personal connections with students. Whereas here at Denaire, I really get to take the time and the opportunity, not only in the classroom, but outside of the classroom as well, to really get to know those students and their families and the community and, and all of that. I, the teachers help you a lot with motivation, but just, you have, you're gonna have to want it, just like sports. It's what, how do you want it? You want to go far or just get it over with? When kids have a safe harbor, when they're safe to be who they are, they can take a risk and people are there to help them get right back up. That's how you grow. So last year we had 98% graduation rate. Um, this year we have 100% graduation rate. I'm very excited about the next five years. I think we have some strong leadership, so I'm excited to be a part of that. I feel like we've really been rebuilding our school for the last four years, and so it's nice to kind of be on that train and excited to see uh, you know, what's to come.